Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Quantic Gaming here, and welcome to Titanic Monarch Zone for Sonic Mania. Yes, this is Let's Play Sonic Mania Part 11, and we are here, what is soon to be the final zone, and oh, a target? Right, okay, get away from that immediately. Now, this is the final zone of this game, and it is, what you can tell, it is pretty dangerous. Now, these things are very similar to, if you know Sonic 3 Knuckles, that Gumball's bonus stage, it's just like that, except you've got to use them as obstacles to get your way around the stage. I'm interested to see what else there is to explore in, in this stage, actually, so, because as you can see from this, it looks like this stage, but now it's got some aspects of Metropolis Zone and Scrap Ray Zone, like those yellow bouncing pads are from Metropolis Zone and Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which are very good, actually. I'm, I'm glad they paid well, homage to... Actually, what's through here? No, I want, I want to see what's through that wall there, if I can get in the proposition. Okay, maybe not. Never mind. Actually, okay, let's get that checkpoint. Let's just carry on forward. I'm not even going to try and explore for special stages. Okay, I'm glad I got rid of that enemy. That enemy is going to be an absolute pain in the backside because he does have targets on you. Okay, I probably didn't want that to happen, but never mind. At least you have an opportunity to get up, and those platforms actually come from the Death Egg Zone in Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles. So, it's like all the final zones, or near final zones, from... Uh oh We're going for a ride of the Egg Robo, that... Oh god, that was a bad idea, right, that's definitely not good. Right. The best way to avoid that target is to actually... Oh, okay, I kind of didn't want to go that way, but... I want to see what's back that way. Oh, okay, the game's not going to let me go that way, fine. I had a feeling that there was a secret there, but I missed it. But oh well, never mind. Never mind. Actually, what's over here? I know this, this stage involves a lot of exploding. Okay, and I latched onto that one by accident. I actually did not mean to grab onto that one. Okay, we're speeding through this zone a lot quicker than I thought. Because we've already reached two checkpoints. Oh, that, that enemy's from Scrap Brain Zone from Sonic 1. So, they referenced the final zone from that one. So, I'm glad that they did that. And the, the turtle, the, the tortoise is an animal coming out. That's interesting. I've never seen the tortoise coming out of the robots before. Well, okay, right. That was an unexpected spring. I didn't mean to come across it. Oh, God, right. Actually, I want to go through that way. Right. What is that way? Ah, uh, there was an iron box. I had a feeling there was a lightning shield in there, but I really need that because of the electricity, that the electric panels there that are going to be a danger. Okay, there we go. Let's go this way. Okay, right, running that one. Oh god, right, I need the ring at the very late. Okay, we're good. There we are. This place looks very royal. You see, I have a feeling that this takes place on how I'm, uh, what I mentioned in one of the parts was, oh god damn it, I keep... Wait, what's it? I had a feeling, wait. No, I want to see what's in there, because... Okay, maybe never mind. I thought I felt a uh, platform, like, grabbing onto a platform there, but it turns out that didn't happen. I thought that that was a secret there, but I got my hopes up there. Right, okay, now I've got to watch out for that enemy. Just be careful here. Oh god, right. Just gotta be careful on that platform because it could crush me. And I do not want that crushing me or anything. Okay, right. Glad I got rid of it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, damn it. I... As I said, I didn't want to get crushed and that's just what happened. I got crushed. Never mind. Don't want to get crushed. And I end up getting crushed by spikes. Spikes, my arch nemesis in this game. Oh, damn. <laughs> That just further proves that point. Spikes of my arch nemesis, is an, uh, arch nemesis in Sonic Mania. Right. Let's just be careful here. Don't do anything reckless. Be careful. Here we go. Right, there we go. There. Right, let's get that shield again. Now let's jump off this. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, good. That target's not going to get me anytime soon now. Okay, good. 
Nice to get past that a little bit. Okay, right. Nice jump all the way up over there. I like the stage design, how a lot of it re resembles Robotnik's face. You see, what I was about to say before I got crushed was, I have a feeling that this zone takes place in the little planet that was mechanized. Um, how I mentioned in the Lava Reef zone part, that on top of the volcano, little planet was up there instead of the Death Egg all mechanized. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So my question is, did the Phantom Ruby, Robotnik find, finding that Phantom Ruby, did that cause like a time effect? Did that cause a glitch in the, times, uh, the time zones? That's my question, because how Robotnik was able to get that mechanized again is beyond me. Besides the, the Phantom Ruby, like, causing a paradox in the time effect. Okay, right, I'm trying to get... No. I'm trying to get past this bit. Stop mentioning me back up there. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, right, there we go. At least that's something... Okay, what's over here? Uh, go down. See what's down here. Okay, turns out there's nothing. What's that? Oh god, there's spikes on the roof. Who put spikes on the roof? Of course, you're bombing with Oh god, there's bombs. Spikes and bombs everywhere. Oh, thank goodness for that. I actually thought I was about to run into some spikes there, but thankfully a, a friendly spring was there to help me. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Working my way up, and downtown, and, well, well, downtown, and I say that and I go down, of course. Right, there we go. Oh no. Oh, I got invincibility, okay, I, I actually didn't realise I was invincibility right there. What's the bet I'm going to waste this and get crushed? Oh, damn, and I fall all the way back down, of course. So I'm going to have to work my way back up again. Don't be surprised, guys, if I get time over on this level, because this level is huge in this game. It requires a lot of exploring and a lot of precise platforming here, so don't be surprised if I get time over on this zone due to me exploring or being careful too much. Or doing too much careful platforming, should I say. Oh, okay, right. Oh, I thought there was something secret there, but I guess not. Oh, no, and I need, I need at least a ring. Okay, no. no. Okay. Oh, come on, I want to get up there to that... Oh, my God. Right, thank you. Right, I wanted to get up there at the very least. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I'm working my way back down again. Oh, my goodness. You see, this level, as much as I like it, it's very... It's... It's incredibly precise in what you have to do in terms of the plat- Oh my gee whiz, well, seriously? Yeah, I'm gonna get a time over on this level. There's no way I'm not gonna get a time over on this. Right, let's be careful here. Oh no, okay, at least I'll fall back down into the gumball machine. Ah, no. Okay, at least I went- Oh my god, no, I'm gonna die. There's no way, there's no way I am going to- Oh my god. I'm gonna die here. There's no way. Okay, no. Oh, thank God, right. Please give me some rings. Thank you. I really hope this is the boss coming up, because I'm about to... Oh, thank you. Yes, I think this is the boss. Good. Now, does this remind you of any? Now, this, uh, this boss is from the Death Egg Zone, Act 1 from Sonic and Knuckles. Now, without Super, this guy will be a pain, so I'm doing this the hard way. Okay, and I'm using invincibility frames to my advantage here. Okay, right, get that ring quickly. There we go. Good, right. So it's not over yet. If you know Sonic and Knuckles, it's not over yet. But, at the very least, this is not going to be anywhere near as hard as Sonic and Knuckles because it won't allow you to actually jump up to there. Whereas in the original Sonic and Sonic and Knuckles originally, Okay, and I cannot reach that at all. What the hell? Okay, crap, right. Okay, there we go. Ah, you see, I can't jump up to there. Oh, damn. Right, okay, those bounce off the wall. I need the... Okay, let's be careful. Oh, I cannot get a hell on him here. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Get that ring, get the ring. Okay, there we go. Gravity, I hate you so much. <laughs> 
Right, no. Huh? No. Okay, my time's already run out. I know this game. I know. At least I got a checkpoint, though. That's all I can say. Please, tell me I can get a hit on this guy. Right, thank you. At the very least, okay, right now we're going... Right, thank you. Good God. That was a bit awkward. But I managed to beat the boss at the very least, so that's the main thing that matters. Alright, Act 1 is finished. Just barely though, without a time over. I'm glad I didn't get a time over there. Right, Act 2 is about to begin. And going up to Act 2. Some elevator music this is. I, I would definitely not feel comfortable if that was elevator music. Okay, where are we going? They're going for another ride with the Egg Robo. I wonder if that's, that's a, a ride that, that Robotnik or uh, Eggman would have had for his uh, former Robotnik land. Ride with the Egg Robo. Only $10. <laughs> well, I kind of want to get rid of this enemy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, I got rid of the target just barely. Oh, those giant gears are from Metropolis Zone as well. I think the problem is I'm doing way too many comparisons here. Oh, what the hell? Okay, we got a time portal. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, those time portals, what the are are those interdimension portals? Okay, run away from that. Okay, good. If I somehow manage to get the last Chaos Emerald in this act, I highly doubt this is gonna happen, because the final boss will I'm assuming based on the tone of this act alone. I'm assuming that the final boss, I'm just trying to remember if the final boss was actually here. I know I did finish the game, but I'm just trying to remember if the final boss was actually in this act. If it is, then I'm going to tell you this, guys. I might not speak, actually, during some parts of the final boss until you hear the final boss theme, because the final boss theme is simply incredible. Okay, crap. Need to get away from that? Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Actually, no. What's down here? Uh, I'm assuming it's death. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I know. Actually, what is over here? No, spring. Don't stop me. Only rings. Okay, fine. Right, spring. Take me away. There we go. Okay, and I lost all my rings. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's see where we're going. Okay, essentially nowhere, because that's not where I want to go there. So I'm assuming I want to go to the left here, and then that'll take me all the way over to the right. And that'll be the end of that path. Yep, so that was closed off, so now I need to go down here. And this will take me down to another interdimensional portal, and now we need to work with the gumball machines. Well, well not gumball machines, like electric spheres. Actually, no. Gumball, no. Okay, wait, no, that didn't go right at all, did I? No. So wait, no. Okay, so I'm assuming I do not want to fall down any of those. Okay, so the left wave is the right one to fall down on. Right, okay, that's good to know. Okay, more rings. That's good. Okay. Okay, right. No, I kind of want to get rid of that enemy. Oh, well, thank goodness for that. Well, I had to get rid of that enemy there, so that, that enemy kind of distracted me momentarily. Right, get rid of that enemy, so that way it will not target me anymore. So, fall down to this one. Right, so I definitely do not want to fall into the abyss below. Okay, right, no, that's definitely brought me back to the start again. You see, that's one of the things, that, like, this, this zone requires absolute precise platforming, otherwise you will have to start again. So, let's be careful here. Wait for that platform to stop. There we go. And it'll jump on these springs. Now we're gonna wait. Oh my god. I actually thought I was gonna get crushed there. I was afraid I was gonna get crushed, but then again though I had a checkpoint, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. Plus got plenty of lives to spare anyway as well, so... Okay, no, no. Get down there. No! Oh. That's probably not what I wanted to do. Oh no, Eggman boxes do not break them. They're going to destroy my rings, so definitely do not break them. Oh no, just like those spikes destroyed my rings. Oh no, come on, get the rings. 
Right. Come on, please don't hit those. Oh, thank God, right. Thank goodness for this spring. I'm going to keep bouncing on it until that comes back along. There. Oh, no. Ah, for goodness sake, right. I'm not as good as this. I'm not as good as it, at this as I thought I was. Right. I think my platforming skills are dying, guys, because I'm literally... Oh! <laughs> I'm literally... Oh, yeah. I'm literally oh so dying on my platforming skills. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Oh my goodness, right. You see, I keep thinking I'm going to get crushed there. And I would have gotten crushed... I would have gotten crushed if I hadn't moved to the right ever so slightly. Okay, crap. Right, I may as well have to do this again. That's fine. Just jump up. Nope, not gonna make it. Just keep bouncing up. There. And now I want to bounce on knees. There we go. That's what I want to do. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Right. Right. Do you know what? Get rid of that. Oh my god. Get that ring. Oh my jeez, no. Oh, thank god. Right, at the very least, I had a ring while that guy targeted me, so I'm happy about that. Right, I'm getting rid of you. Right, I'm gonna just bounce across here. Right, there we go. Right, so now what? Okay, I need to go up here. Right, I need to be careful here. Because I want to bounce up there, but I need to be very precise when I'm jumping here. Right, fine, I'll take the hill on the spikes, as long as I get up to the platform. Sorry guys for not saying anything interesting, just trying to really concentrate on the platforming here. Because it is very precise on where you need to go here. This is why I kind of did this off screen, because I wanted to make sure that the... Okay, I think that's the end of that platform. Yeah, it is. Okay, nothing on the left. Okay, now what? Okay, so I need to go this way, I'm guessing. Yep, I'm guessing I do need to go that way. So, I guess you go down? You do. Okay, good. See, I think, a, from what I heard... Oh, okay, god damn it, right, okay. A lot of people got time movers on this level alone based on how much exploration you had to do. Okay, right. I think I see what I need to do here, right? I need to really bounce on the correct spring here. Right, yeah, I see right there. I need to bounce on that correct spring there. Otherwise, I'm going to get sucked back in that dimension portal again. Okay, there we go. Right, now I need to be careful here. Otherwise, I'm going to fall, and I do not want to fall. Oh, that was a big jump. I quite like that one. Only barely made that one, though, right? Okay, let's go for another ride with the Aggro Bowl. Another $10, please. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Okay. okay, as long as I get the right room to bounce up there. Right, and I think we're done with that one. Now we need to go this way. See, I like how this act is like solving different puzzles. Okay, I kind of want to go through there. Right, I didn't even need that gumball machine. Okay, now this definitely screams scrap, screams scrap brain zone when you look at this one. Okay, right. I think the lightning shield should protect me from those guys. I kind of wanted that ring box, but okay. Okay, there we go, that's it. I'm happy now. Right, get rid of that enemy. Now, I need to wait for these platforms now. Let's not jump. Let's wait for these platforms, because I do not want to get squashed by them. When doing this off screen, I actually ended up getting squashed by these platforms, believe it or not. I know. Unbelievable, right? I ended up getting squashed by platforms because of my stupid platforming skills. Right. Oh, yes! Extra life! Okay, that makes up for the lost light. Oh, what the hell? You saw that, right? I'm riding... I'm riding... Riding the lightning. Ride the lightning. No... No... No inadvertent reference to Metallica and ended up losing my lightning shield. I think the game absolutely hates my puns. As well as that robot. Right. Jump up here. Now, forget about that enemy. Right, just be careful. 
Oh my goodness, right, okay, you see, I'm really worried now that I'm gonna end up screwing up my platforming here and ended up having to restart this again. I really hope this doesn't happen. Oh my goodness, right, okay, come up to another bit. Right, okay, speed, right. Oh my god, no. Right, as long as it got rings at the very least, I don't care how many rings I have. Just be careful. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Right. Okay. Now, let's see. Again, I want to be careful here because I do not want to end up okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, where is this taking me? Where is this taking me? I'm kind of scared of where this is taking me. Okay, and now we're going for another ride with the Ego Ball once again. Oh, damn it. Is that the end of that section? I think it is. I think it is. It's the end. Right. Now, where? Oh! Dimension portal, right? Let's take... Let's go in here. Oh, the time's frozen. Why do I have a feeling that it's what I think it is? Yes, it is. It's the final boss. Uh, sorry guys, I had to be quiet there because that was the most epic part of the boss track. Right, now, this final boss. Now, as you could probably see already, Robotnik has already powered up his machine with that phantom ruby that he found to make a robot that actually has feet and everything. So, like that for example, he uses the phantom ruby to power up this robot that he has. Now unfortunately, because of me not getting all the Chaos Emeralds, I'm not going to be able to access the true final boss. Not yet anyway. So that's why I'm going to plan on getting all the rest of the Chaos Emeralds, or that last Chaos Emerald, in one of the previous zones that I did. So I might more than likely get in Green Hill Zone if I'm lucky. Now these hands, you cannot avoid them. You must let your bottom grab you. And you'll be taken to a random fight with one of those hard-boiled heavy robots that you fought before in the past. Now this is basically just an illusion, this. Hence why the track, the, the music track of this is Ruby Illusions. I don't think you even need to hit this guy actually in order to progress. Yeah, you see right there, I don't even need to hit that guy, it's just, I, I have to let the robot do its own thing. Now, I can easily hit Robotnik right there because he's got, now because he's got one electric cable left. Okay, missed him for a second time, right. Is he gonna grab me again? No, he's gonna use his missile attack. Ah, right, that's it! Final boss is defeated. And that'll be the end of Sonic Mania. And Robotic's like, why? Why did I lose to you again? And, oh, we have an alert, and the place is about to explode from the looks of things. Well, there's, uh, Knuckles. And, well, and, and, and a ship that he's, uh... Oh, God, that expl Oh, damn, wow. Okay, that explosion, wow. And there's the ending cutscene to the normal ending for the game. And that's it. Sonic's story is done. For now, anyway, at the very least, I'm going to come back to Sonic Story at some point. I might actually do it quite soon, actually, because I want to get the last emerald. So, staff credits, and these are all the credits and everything. Now, you can skip through the credits like this, but I'm not going to watch the credits just now, because there are other characters I want to play as, like Tails and Knuckles. I want to play as them. So, I'm going to skip the credits for now. Try again. See, one emerald. One measly emerald that I missed out on. And Robotic's like, Haha, you failed to get the last emerald. I still have the Phantom Ruby. Well, yeah, I'm still going to get that last Chaos Emerald. Just you wait, Robonic. All right, guys, well, I think that'll be it for now. So thank you very much for watching. This was part 11 of my Let's Play Sonic 
Mania, and I will be coming back to you again when I confront the true final boss of the game once I get all seven emeralds. So, as you can see right here, clear, which means I can go back to this as Sonic and go and start the game over again and get all the special rings again, but I don't have to collect all the Chaos Emeralds again. As you can see, my emeralds have been saved, so I can only need to get one more emerald in order to get the access to the true final boss. So, I will get back to you guys on that soon enough, when I get the final emerald. And you'll see my supersonic powers, and the true final boss. So, I will see you guys then. I will actually record my attempt on the seventh emerald every time I get a special ring. But this will be off camera, well, with no commentary, so I can really concentrate on it. So you'll see when I get supersonic. So until then guys, um, I will see you then. But until then... I hope you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below with your thoughts, and also please feel free to hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos of Sonic Mania as well, when I'll be playing as Tails and Knuckles as well. Now Tails' story, from what I understand, is very similar to Sonic's, but this will give me an opportunity to really comment on the game as a whole, what I like about it and what I dislike about it. And Knuckles' story I'm expecting to be completely different to Sonic and Tails, that's why I'll be playing as him as well. So until then guys, have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later when I come back as Super Sonic and the final boss. Till then, guys, have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Till then, goodbye.